Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Joffy Noodle Legs here today with another film review. Today we're looking at 1971 Hammer film Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde starring Martine Beswick yeah, and Ralph Bates. Uh, this edition here uh, comes with a slipcase and it comes with a DVD and the Blu-ray of the film. So, what is the film? Now, you probably all know the, the, the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which I believe was written by Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, this is the same pretty much story. It's about a, a, a doctor who is trying to invent a medicine uh, which prolongs life. Uh, elixir, I think he calls it, like a lifelong elixir to extend life so it's, it's not too dissimilar from a frankenstein kind of story whereas frankenstein was using body parts to rebuild a life he's looking for medicine that will extend the life um so and he discovers that what he needs to make that happen is female hormones so he goes out uh and does a couple of killings and he does some tests on flies and stuff and they live longer than they should and then he tries it onto himself and he turns into sister hide female now i think he didn't expect that um because obviously because he's using female hormones it's making him turn into the female when he changes um but it doesn't last very long but he he he's sort of really happy with his sort of discovery uh and he gets a couple of grey robbers, Burke and Hare, um, to go and get bodies for him. Young, under 20 female bodies. So he can get the this part of the human, the female body that he uses to get the hormones from. And he uses that to make his, uh, his elixir. Um, and then he starts to really enjoy it. Um, he befriends a girl who lives upstairs. Um... And there's quite a few times when she comes down. She's a little bit annoying, actually. She comes down and sort of he's changed into her. And she thinks he's got a, another woman. And he goes, oh, no, it's my sister. So then the brother of the girl upstairs starts to like the sister. So there's a little bit of a love, sort of not even a triangle. It's more of a square going on there um, between the two brother, the brother and sister upstairs and these two. Um, but then the the, fem the the female part of his uh, persona starts to take over and wants to be more that way. And he's trying to fight it, um, did that sort of um, feeling of her wanting to take over. And that because what happens, he realises that the police are out looking for a man dressed in a, a cape and a big hat like Jack the Ripper. It is all based around London, around Jack the Ripper times in Victorian London um, so it's a costume drama um, so he discovers that they're all looking for the male so he then decides to go out as the female and he does the killings as the female and he, he starts she starts to sort of like overtake his his mind and wants to permanently be that so it's a, it ends up he ends up fighting with trying not to turn into the female and then it's a big showdown at the end when uh well i've gone to give the ending away in case you haven't seen it so i won't tell you the end so but it's got a great end so what did i think of the film it's amazing it's absolutely incredible i watched it last night and i've not seen it for a long time and i forgot how incredible it was it's it's just such a good good film um it's probably the best adaptation of that story that I've seen and it is definitely one of my favorite hammer films excuse me so the positives about this film is this edition is fantastic it's a great transfer the uh, picture quality is very crisp it's very very nice and the colors pop and it, and it's really shot beautifully um, it's amazing um, the acting is fantastic uh, Ralph Bates and that are fantastic in the role really convincing there's not a bad sort of like role even the uh, police sergeant is, is funny and he's fantastic um 
it's just such a really well acted film and it looks incredible and yeah and and it's so gripping you just want to watch it and watch it and watch it and i was gutted when it ended um because i thought it was fantastic um other pluses about the film is that like i said apart from the um transfer of the film which is amazing the sound is fantastic too it's got a typical sort of um hammer soundtrack and it sounds really excellent um everything is it's just really really good there's not one thing i can really fault about the film so we go to faults uh there isn't any i i i i, I find it difficult to find anything fault the only fault i can find that it was finished and i didn't want it to um so i, I cannot find any faults in this film whatsoever um yeah and i was surprised i didn't put it in my hammer top 10 of all time i think because i couldn't put my hands on it uh, but when I saw it the other day, I thought, oh, I must watch that. So I remember having this and not watched it for a long time. And I thought, oh, yeah, I've got to all watch this. And I'm so glad I do, because that is in my top ten. I would have to remove one and replace it with that. I'd have to. And it would be high up there. This is one of the best Hammer films ever made. Uh, if you get a chance to see it, please do. So I'm giving this an, an essential watch. And I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with the film. It's perfect. It's British horror filmmaking at its very best. And it's so well acted. And I, 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 I just want to watch it again. But I don't want to watch it again. Because you know you can get too much of a good thing. And I thought I want to put this away. And watch it again in a few months time. Pick it up. Maybe when next time when my son comes up to visit me. I'll get this out again. And I'll, I'll make him watch this. Because I think he'll enjoy it too. Um, it's a really really cool film um, and it's got a great ending it's just great from beginning to end you know and, it, and having Burke and Hare in there <laughs> they, they were like real sort of characters in London back in that time there, there was even a film made about Burke and Hare not by Hammer but with um, Simon Pegg and Andy Serkis playing um, Burke and Hare comedy horror that's a really good film but yeah watch this film it's a 10 out of 10 from me. Uh, it's just one of the best Hammer films ever made. Um, if you haven't seen it, then you're missing out. So that's all I can say about Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. So if you, have you seen it? What did you guys think? Write down below. Can you recommend any more sort of Hammer films that I've sort of like not talked about that you really, that you think are, are great? Um, and maybe we can get a conversation going about this film. Um, that'd be really good. Um, I've got some more reviews coming out shortly and I'll be doing some more sort of top tens. Um, I've just got to figure out which ones I want to do next. Um, I do want to do a Western one. I was holding back to see what happens with the Hateful Eight to see if I wanted to include that, but obviously I'm not going to be including that. Um, but yeah, I'll get some more. I've got some more sort of, um, I think, invert videos coming out uh, over the next a uh, few days and few weeks so keep your eyes peeled for them um got us i think there's a special unboxing coming as well so keep your eyes open for that uh if you get a chance go and check out horror hands channel and horror on Todge in Todge. uh carry out um horror geek man v film and also um check out sarah uh of horror she's really good and go and check out rs designs channel as well Anyway, guys, until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I see you all soon.